Warren, not long now until the Cheltenham Festival. How is your team shaping compared to the big day, the big week? Yeah, no, touch wood at the moment, we're all good. Um, you know, season-wise, we've been quiet first half of the season. They've been picking up since Christmas. Um, they seem to be hitting real good form now, which is the main thing. So, yeah, two weeks to go. Can't wait. Got a really interesting team this year, including the, the mayor, Labago Wa. How, how's she doing so far? She's got entries in things, including the, the ultimate and the, the festival plate as well. Yeah, no, she's, she's sort of been coming along steadily. Um, last year, she took all before her in grade ones. And this year, it's just taken a, a time to hit a bit of form. But she's got better and better. I was chuffed to bits with her run in Leopardstown on soft ground. Um, and she came out of that race so well. I said to the owners, look, why don't we just look at one of the handicaps at Cheltenham? Um, she's never run in a handicap before. She's been taking on Gold Cup horses. And I've seen, on, seen the weights off 11-2, 11-3. She'd be very much of interest. Uh, another interesting contender is Emmaton in the Stayers Hurdle. Now Paisley Park is it's no mean feat to take him on. But are you quietly confident of running well? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we've always held him in high regard. He's only been beaten twice. He was beaten by Champ last year, probably when he was just coming to the end of a long season. And then the first run of this season after an injury, I think it was my fault. I didn't have him anywhere near ready and uh, he disappointed. But he put that well behind him at Haydock, um, showed us what he's made of. He's come out of that really well. Um, you know, like he's only a six-year-old, so you know the the future's very bright, and we don't know how good he is yet. I can I can see him really improving. Bob Marler as well comes into the festival in flying form. He was a winner of the Edinburgh National last time out. Is he in good form as well? Yeah, he's come out of that race really well. Um, he's in the Kim Muir. Um, I I was actually second. He's gone the same route as I went with Mr. Proach. He was second in the uh, Edinburgh National, and then won the Kim Muir. And we've gone one better here. So um, he's a horse. He's progressive. Um, he's one round course and distance um, so uh, yeah I'm, I'm very excited about him and last but not least you've got an interesting pair both owned by the McNeil family in Port Rush Ted and Mackay's Hill both got chances at the festival in the handicaps yeah Mackay's Hill will probably go for the Ultima um, he's one round here um, he's off a good mark he's had a fair clean early season we had a few blips after he won here at Cheltenham but he's he's been in, uh, freshening him right up he's always best fresh and he seems in very good form at home and poor Rich Ted, the main aim was the per um, final, but unfortunately tipped up at the last in the qualifier at Haydock. I think he would have gone very close that day, um, but he's in the Coral Cup and the Martin Pipe. Um, it would need to come up very soft to see him at his best, but he's only run three times over hurdles. So again, he's unexposed. And um, if it did come up soft, you know, he's a grade two winner, a bumper winner, so he'd have a good chance.